This is DHG, playing the Civil War on Xbox 360. In this episode, I will be playing the level of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, state where I was born. July 1863. Confederate President Jeff Davis urges Lee to take the battle to the north. Lee sends Jeb Stuart around Union lines to invade the north in Pennsylvania. Stewart stumbles upon Gettysburg for no other reason than it warehouses boots, badly needed by his soldiers. Union generals Buford and Meade both converge on the rural Pennsylvania town. In no time at all, a ferocious battle begins. On the second day of fighting, in spite of the advice of his generals, Lee starts to attack the enemy's flanks at Little Round Top. The Federals must hold this position, or their entire line will be exposed to the southern attack. I was in Gettysburg a couple years ago. Not that big of a town still. Maybe wonder why he attacked it in the first place, but they just said it there and had boots. I never would have guessed that. Out of all the possible reasons, boots. So sizable line of Rebs is coming down on us fast. Use your sniper rifle to pick them off. It's the only chance we got. Okay, Colonel Sanders. I can't get on these rocks. That's stupid. Hours, man. He got up! Wake up we got up! I can't imagine sniper rifles back then were accurate at all. What? It could be fold. that one me to glory. right behind those uh I don't know what they're called those stakes are there to block cavalry charges I suppose they're the ancient equivalent to modern-day hedgehogs First lesson in soldiering. Stand out in the middle of an open field waiting to be shot. How many dudes do I gotta pick off? Oh my god, they're everywhere. That nigga just disappeared. I guess I should go this way. We've got to get out of here. Retreat to you Little think? Round Top on the double. Eliminate every soldier on the way. Jeez, move it. No, now. don't shoot Die him. Where you stand. If you see Jesus, don't shoot him. Oh. Don't 
forget me. What are you bloody wankers doing here? Couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper bag. That's how it's gonna be. Step, step. A colt. Hello. Don't stop running. can't reload this weapon before you expend all the ammunition. It's quite annoying. Is that a Gatling gun? I think so. We got him! Take over the big Gatling gun, son. Mow down anything that isn't already dead. <laughs> Even friendlies. Yeah, I guess those ones just made a bomb. I'm sure they won't kill too many people. Why did they put a Gatling gun here? I'm not running out of ammo. This bitch got... Oh shit, okay. Maybe I am. No mercy! Follow me to glory! You think the Gatling gun could have been placed over that large open field? No, they hit it in the woods. Fix bayonets, man. We're going to charge. I'm not. You can. Oh. Look at the telescope on that rifle. Oh. Victory, man. Victory or death. Uh, might as well join in on the fun. Yep. I can't believe that was the end of the level.
the third day of battle is no less faithful. Sensing victory, Lee orders General George Pickett to charge an open field, where behind a stone wall, the Union Army holds Cemetery Ridge. At 2 p.m., Pickett begins his charge with 13,000 men. Red flags wave and bayonets shine in the July sun. It's an unimaginable slaughter. Single cannon blasts from the Union side kill a dozen packed together bodies at once. The Confederates reach the stone wall at one place only. They are all captured or killed. Taking full responsibility for the disastrous charge, Lee will never again attempt to invade the North. 6,500 Confederates die or are taken prisoner. All in all, 51,000 men on both sides are killed during three days of warfare. Despite Lincoln's urgent pleas, Meade refuses to attack the retreating army. His own troops are too exhausted. No one knows it yet, but it's the beginning of the end for the Confederacy. Such a bloody war. That's the end of this episode. Where are we heading next? Chattanooga isn't on the southern side too? Okay, no it's not. Alright, so Chattanooga it is. Next